So here we have the Peugeot Partner van on a 68 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of it and then we'll hop in and run through some of the controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see uh, it's in great condition. Uh, we'll open up the back doors first of all and start off in the uh, rear load area and then work our way around the rest of the van from there. So as we approach the back of the van, you can see that the whole thing is ply lined. We've also got that uh, full uh, metal mesh bulkhead as well. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back round to the front of the van and then we'll hop in and run through those controls. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now they're inside the van, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle, you can see the total miles, which are 23,759. And above that, we have the coolant temperature gauge and the fuel gauge. If we back out to the steering wheel and then move it slightly, you can see we have stereo controls behind the steering wheel on uh, this stalk just here. And then on the left-hand side, we have both cruise control and speed limiter. Over in the center, we have the main stereo unit and the screen that accompanies it. Uh, you can see uh, that we have FM radio. We've also got AM available to us as well. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do that via the CD player or the auxiliary socket that's underneath this cap just here. And this is where you'll find the main volume for the stereo as well. Beneath that, we have the fans. So you can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed, what speed you'd like the fans on, and then the temperature that you want them set at. This button will recirculate the air that's in the van so that that will heat it up or cool it down a little bit quicker, depending of course upon the temperature that you set. Below that, we have the electric uh, passenger window, driver window, a 12 volt charging socket underneath that cap. We can uh, lock the van doors from the outside. We have the warning hazard warning lights as well. And then a five speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see this van for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.